That's exactly where competition, they don't want to see you succeed. That's exactly where they want to see you, isolated. Do you think the weight of the world on your shoulder is gonna get any lighter? It won't. Now, there's something I'd like to share with you that you probably don't wanna hear. Focus your concentration on things that make you the most amount of money every day. Because when much is given, much is expected. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jeter. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. So how many of you are making a choice to better your life financially? And now you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable doing so. You know what you gotta do. But finding the time to get done what you need to get done or learning the new language of money seems to be intimidating you. Now, there's something I'd like to share with you that you probably don't wanna hear or it's not gonna seem very kind when I share with it. When you make a choice to financially improve and better your life, you will feel the weight of the world on your shoulders. When you choose to better and improve your financial life to create access and opportunities for those that you love and care about, guess what? It's going to feel heavy. But hats off to you, salute the fact that you've made the decision to turn your life around. See, at this point, you're at a fork in the road. You know what most people would do? Here's what most people do. Most people wanna just go back to normal. The pressure and the accountability, it's too great. They'd rather go back to normal. And yet, the irony is, normal wasn't making them happy to begin with. Now, here's three ways to control this weight and pressure that you're feeling. Number one, find a group of people that are thinking the same way that you're thinking, that are wanting and desiring what you want and desire in your life. Now, the reality is these groups are fairly rare. Higher amounts of accountability, whether you're online or offline, and here's the thing about these type of groups. The thing about these groups, these mastermind groups, or this association of people, they will not deal with your gossiping, they will not deal with your complaining, they will not deal with the lower standards that you might subconsciously be bringing back up in your process of evolving and growing. So some of the questions come up, where do you find these groups? So a couple of resources to suggest. Number one is Meetup, and the other one is Eventbrite. You can find mentorship groups, you can find business networking groups, you can find people online, you can look at Facebook groups, and Facebook, LinkedIn groups on LinkedIn, there's many different groups that you can find uh, online that might either have a phone or a Zoom interaction, or they just might get together for coffee or cigars. So many different groups of people that are wanting to improve and get better in their life. And guess what they're not going to accept from you? A lot of them won't accept from you complaining, gossiping, loathing. No, they want to see you improve. Find those groups. You can find them either online and asking around offline too as well. But you gotta ask. Someone asked, well, Matt, I'm just kind of like be myself and I guy. Here's a danger of isolation. That's exactly where competition, that's exactly where the enemy, your enemies, that's exactly where the people that want to see you succeed, they don't want to see you succeed, that's exactly where they want to see you. Isolated, trying to figure this game out all by yourselves. What the pandemic has taught us the last couple of years, they've been trying to shove us in a corner. They've been trying to shove us and keep us home. For those of you that refuse to stay disconnected and you're always finding ways to connect with people, whether on social media or via Zoom, more power to you. But for those of you that say, I'm just gonna figure this out by myself and stay in isolation, you are the most easiest target to take out. Keep that in mind. If that's you and you say, I wanna have an affirmation that relates to this point, put it in the comment section below. I am finding the right people to encourage me and push me. I am finding the right people to encourage me and push me. The second thing and how to deal with this weight on the world of your shoulders is focus your attention on things that advance you forward. For us, we found four things that advance our business forward to have the highest amount of return and cash flow and revenue coming our way every day. We do four things that matter for some, depending on what you do, but boil it down to three, four things that allow you to advance your business forward because it's easy to remember. If you focus on those two, three, four things, guess what? Your life becomes more simple, your mind is less confused, your desk is less cluttered, you're more organized, and if those things that you need, well, Matt, I need to take care of this, I need to take care of that, great, that's where you hire staff. 
That's where you create jobs. So the money that you're earning from you being focused, guess what you're now starting to do? You're starting to create jobs. You're starting to create opportunities for other people to join your team. But you have to keep the main thing the main thing. So if you're out there trying to carry this weight of the world on your shoulders, focus your concentration on things that make you the most amount of money every day. And if you're firm with me, you're done being distracted and you want to avoid procrastination, put it in the comment section below. I'm keeping the main thing the main thing. I am keeping the main thing the main thing. And the third thing is self-care. Making sure that along the way you're taking care of yourself. You have your prayer life right, your relationships are tight, uh, you're processing issues very quickly. Most times people have a problem and all day or all week or sadly all month it takes for them to recover. Now, if you are facing a health challenge, however medically speaking it takes for you to recover from that situation, take that time. But however, don't use COVID, don't use your change in health situation as an excuse to procrastinate knowing that you need to get things done. The best of the best knows that they know how to deal with their health situation, their financial situation, their relationship situation, and still get a way to get the job done. Because the reality is along the way, as you're changing and evolving your life, many different attacks come from many different angles. And if you're unprepared for those attacks and you're unprepared for those angles, it's gonna wipe you away from the main thing that you need to focus on for that day, for that week, for that month, for that quarter, for that six months, for, that, for the year. Next thing you know, if you're unaware of these things, you're not taking care of yourself, your mental health, your physical health, you're not taking care of those things, those things then you become a distraction to yourself because you're not taking care of yourself. Some people ask, well, Matt, what can you do about this? Well, take care of your diet and exercise. Without your health, it doesn't matter if you make millions and millions and you're a decamillionaire, you make millions of dollars, without your health, it doesn't make sense to build your wealth. Why? Because you can spend all your wealth just to regain your health. So you gotta take care of your diet and your exercise. Again, if you're out there, your big dreams, you got big goals and you're pursuing seven figures, eight figures, whatever that pursuit is, if you don't take care of your body, guess what, your body is gonna start shutting down and it's gonna start reacting to you in a very big way. How do I know that? For the last 15 years, going on 20 years, I was dealing with that until I said, you know what, enough is enough in 2018. Enough is enough in 2018. I will no longer deal with these military injuries. I'm gonna actually get it checked out. I get my knee checked out, get my inflammation checked out. Get, and guess what happened? It all dealt with diet. It all dealt with exercise. So if you're firm with me that you need to take care of you better, put it in the comment section below. I am prioritizing self-care. I am prioritizing self-care. But I will say this as I wrap up this video. Pray to God that he doesn't remove this weight of the world from your shoulders. Why? That's part of you growing. Yet instead, pray to God that he gives you added strength and wisdom in order to carry this weight. Because guess what happens? When you start ascending, you start achieving, you start growing, you start manifesting. Do you think the weight of the world on your shoulders is gonna get any lighter? It won't. Matter of fact, my experience is that the more you grow, the more you ascend, the more you accomplish, that weight gets heavier, but for good reason. Because when much is given, much is expected. And only through the handling of this weight on the world in your shoulders, and learning how to deal and overcome resistance and pressure, will you then develop the power to create wealth and prosperity. So before I let you go, please check out these videos right here. Three ways to overcome procrastination in 2022 and watch this video right here on how to become financially free in less than 10 minutes. With that being said, guys, I'll know your thoughts, your comments, your questions, your feedback. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, put it in the comment section below. Until then, I'm wishing upon you and praying upon you with your dreams and your goals, added strength and wisdom to carry that weight that you find now on your shoulders because you're choosing to do something great with your life. That being said, guys, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, My Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like, hit subscribe, and click on notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, I'm Money Smart Guy from Dallas, Texas, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.